in this video, I just want to improve really quickly upon the additive fire animation. So for example, when we aim and shoot, I want to improve that because I'm not a huge fan of just overall how it looks. So in the description, there will be a download to a simple fire animation. So what you do, is we're going to go to our content first person animations, and we're just going to drag and drop it right on into import and select your skeleton arms. And here it is. So now let's go ahead and open that on up. We're going to go to our fire montage, delete the first one and drag and drop our new fire animation. Now we're going to want to go ahead and select the preview base pose. We're going to set that as the normal idle because we're going to change our idle as well. So let's open up that fire animation. We have to set it as additive to local space, skeleton animation frame, and select the idle pose to be idle. Okay, so back to our montage, we should have it set up decently. Let's go to our animation blueprint, and where we have our play first person idle, let's change that to our normal idle. Compile save. Go back to the montage, we're going to go to our idle, and we're going to change up. Let's go to our skeleton tree, select our socket the gun's attached to. We're going to orient this to fit our hand. So let's try and change the rotation a bit. And get it roughly in line with what we're going to have to have it positioned. That so looks fairly straight. Let's go to a top view. Get it positioned pretty close. Go to the side. Oops, not there. Let's go to the side. And save it. That should be pretty decent. Let's go ahead and look at it. And we're still a bit off. So let's open up our character, actually. Because we still have some rotations applied. So we're going to go ahead and reset our rotation. So we're going to do 0, 0, negative 90. So it's completely straight. Because the animations, again, are different. And for our location, X and Y, we're set to zero. And we should be good to go. So let's look at it now. Go ahead and save. And that's a good bit better. Now when we shoot, we have a much better animation. We are still a little bit off aim-wise, so let's go ahead and adjust the pose a little more. Let's go to that front view. And that would be the right. There we go. We can see we got to tilt it some. There we go. And that's a good bit flatter. Okay, now we just have the issue of the hand. So where our socket is positioned for the left hand IK, we have to fix. So let's go to our, let's find our gun. Open up the skeleton. Select the socket for the left hand, drag the window out, and start moving it where we need to. So in our case, it's going to be about in this kind of area. Because we can only move it, because rotations, those don't apply. So we're going to get it pretty close, about in this area. Drag it down a little bit. Drag it over. I'd say somewhere about in there. Let's save it. And there we go. And we now have our animation along with the pose and everything tracking accordingly. So, main reason this is so up close is because the shoulders in the animation, I made this really quickly are a little bit off. So for example, this left shoulder here normally would be pushed forward, or the right shoulder would be pushed back, allowing you to get the gun farther back and the left hand farther forward, spraying the left hand up here farther. But for the time being, I have not made any proper animations for it, so this is kind of what we're dealt with. But all in all, it turns out to be pretty decent. So if we look at it now, We can watch all the animations. 
and everything works pretty well. So if you had a decent hand pose and all that kind of stuff, that would look pretty natural in my opinion. So that's going to be all for this video. We now have our firing set up and fixed where it looks a good bit better. And that'll be all. So I'll see you in the next video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as you get early access to most of my videos such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.